Well, thank you. I had been asked to shorten what I want to say. I'll try this. Innovation is one of the major points I think we have to face. Uh, not repeating and teaching and educating what we know, but trying to go beyond this. A quote from Daniel Berenboim, talking about science and academia, it's the Academy of Arts as well. Uh, he said, but I think all progress is in fact having all Uh, having the courage to do away with the support uh, with this, uh, the, the support of the past. Look at the switch from Bach uh, to, on, on the one hand, to Haydn, Mozart, Beethoven, uh, on the other hand, and then <coughs> from Haydn, Mozart, Beethoven, and to, to Wagner. You could say that you could rely on the God, uh, on, on, uh, on God in Bach, Bach's time, uh, and in Beethoven's time, You couldn't rely on anything anymore. This is, I think, important to keep in mind when we talk about innovation, uh, that we have to put away with what we know. This does not mean not learning about... Sorry. This does not mean not learning what we know, about, uh, know already. It is even more important to learn to understand what it is really about. Not just replicating, reproducing it, but to know what is the background, to understand really in depth. There's a tendency today, in terms of teaching, especially educating young people, to not to understand, but to apply something. You find it actually in the um, so-called software apps, Uh, applications for the telephone uh, making learning fun. There's of course not anything wrong with learning, making, making fun of uh, to, to learn but important is not to learn in terms of applying certain rules arriving at a simple result, simple solution but this is uh, the problem with these uh, apps uh, that they don't teach to understand things to question things. And this is important, I think, when it comes to publication, to research, to education, to all these areas, that we lost and that we educate towards it, in many cases, lost what uh, supposedly Hegel said, uh, building his, his uh, hermeneutic circles, uh, to understand my writing, you have to read it twice. And this is important We have to read not only simplified things, what we call in, uh, in, in many cases spoon, feed, spoon feeding, but we have to learn to engage with texts, to engage with the topics. This is, I think, very important, and uh, this is a little bit of provocation again. Um, it is not so much multidisciplinary, It is not so much interdisciplinary, but it is perhaps as well going beyond disciplines and looking for something that is unknown. If you look at quantum physics, which I admit I don't understand, um, this is the interesting part of it, that people had been courageous in saying there is something we know, but we cannot really explain it to the full being nevertheless able and ready to go beyond this. Closing this, as I said, shorten what I want to say. It is not necessarily against technology, but it is not the only thing we have to keep in mind, developing te technology. Einstein had not been understood. That's at least said and he nevertheless uh, went to Stockholm to collect the prize at some stage. Watson, I mentioned him before, he did not understand the word. He did not understand where to go beyond selling five computers. I think we have to find a balance there to look at in education and in research uh, to go for in <coughs> innovation in this sense. Thank you.